English speaking course. At the restaurant. Mary, have you decided what to order? Yes, I have. The menu looks amazing. What about you? I think I'm ready too. Let's call the waiter. Hi, good evening. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'll have the chicken salad, please. And for you, sir? I'll have the spaghetti with meatballs, please. And could we also get an order of garlic bread? Sure. Would you like any drinks? I'll just have water. Thank you. And I'll have a lemonade, please. Great. Your food will be ready soon. Thanks. Have you tried this place before? No, but I've heard great things. They say the dessert is a must try. Maybe we should save some room for dessert then. Here are your drinks. Your food will be out shortly. Thank you. Hmm, this lemonade tastes good. How's your water? Very refreshing. Look, here comes our food. Here is your chicken salad and your spaghetti with meatballs. Enjoy your meal. This salad looks amazing. Let's enjoy it. Yes, let's enjoy our meal. So, John, what did you do this morning? Oh, I went hiking with some friends. The weather was perfect. How about you? I went to a cooking class. It was so much fun. I learned how to make homemade pasta. That sounds great. Maybe you could cook for me sometime. I'll help with the tasting, of course. Sure, I'd love to. By the way, the sauce on the salad is so good. You should try some. Mmm, this is delicious. Try some of my spaghetti. The sauce tastes really good. Wow, that is good. We should come to this place more often. The food really suits my taste. I'm glad you like it. You know, dining out like this is a great way to end a busy week. I agree. Good food and a good partner make for a perfect evening. Absolutely. And I'm really looking forward to dessert now. How is everything so far? Everything is fantastic. Thank you. We're thinking about trying the dessert. Wonderful choice. Our chocolate lava cake is a must try. That sounds great. We'll have two, please. Yes, let's do it. Can't wait to taste it. I'll be right back with your dessert. Thank you. This has been such a nice night. Thanks for suggesting this place, John. My pleasure. I'm glad we could enjoy such a nice meal. At the hotel. Hi, I have a reservation under the name Emily Jones. Welcome, Miss Jones. Let me check. Yes, you have a room with a single bed for two nights. Here's your key. Your room is on the third floor, number 305. Thank you. Uh, can you point me to the elevator? Yes, it's right around the corner to your left. Thank you. Emily, is that you? Michael, what a surprise! Are you staying here too? Yes, I'm here for a conference. What about you? I'm here to join a concert. It's like a short vacation for myself. By the way, what conference are you attending? It's the yearly marketing meeting. It gives me a lot of chances to meet people and attend workshops. How about you? What are your other plans for vacation? That sounds interesting. Um, after joining the concert, I'm planning to visit the local museums.、Uh, maybe I'll try some local restaurants. 
That sounds like a perfect way to relax. We should catch up later. Definitely. Have a great stay. Oh, one more thing, miss. Is there a gym here? Yes, it's on the second floor. Open 24-7. Perfect. Thank you. Emily, we should grab a coffee later. Sounds great. Text me when you're free. Of course. Enjoy your vacation. At home. Hey, Tom, can you help me with the groceries? Sure, Anna. What did you buy? Just some vegetables, fruits, and a few snacks. Let's put them in the kitchen. Did you finish your homework? Not yet. I have some math problems to solve. Do you need any help? Yes, please. I'm stuck on this one. Okay, let me see. Oh, this is easy. You just need to multiply these numbers. Oh, I get it now. Thanks, Tom. No problem. Let's finish this quickly so we can watch a movie later. Sounds like a plan. But first, let's make some popcorn. Great idea. I'll get the popcorn, and you can choose the movie. Perfect. Tonight is going to be fun. I think we should include Mom and Dad, too. This is a time for our family to gather together. Definitely. I'm looking forward to it. At the coffee shop. Hi, can I get a cappuccino, please? Sure. Anything else? No, that's all. That will be four dollars. Okay. Here's your change. Your drink will be ready soon. Sarah, is that you? Peter, what a surprise. How are you? I'm good. Just here for my usual coffee. How about you? Same here. Just taking a break from work. Cappuccino for Sarah? That's mine. Nice seeing you, Peter. You too, Sarah. Let's catch up soon. Sure. Uh, do you come here often? Yeah, almost every day. They make the best coffee. I agree. So, how's work going? It's been busy, but good. We're working on a big project right now. How about you? Same here. Lots of deadlines are coming up, but I enjoy the challenge. That's good to hear. We should definitely catch up more often. Absolutely. It's always nice to take a break and chat. Maybe we can meet here for coffee next week? That sounds like a plan. Let's do it. At the hospital. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I'm here for my appointment with Dr. Smith. Let me check. Uh, yes, you are scheduled for 10 a.m. Please have a seat. The doctor will call you soon. Thank you. David, come on in. Good morning, Dr. Smith. Good morning, David. How are you feeling today? I've been having some headaches. I see. Let's check your blood pressure first. I got it. Your blood pressure is normal. I'll prescribe some medication for your headaches. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Take care, David. If you have any questions about the medication, feel free to ask. Thanks, I will. Remember to take it with food and drink plenty of water. Got it. Thanks again. No problem. Have a good day, David. At the workplace.
Hey, Bob, did you finish the report? Yes, I just sent it to you. Great, thanks. The manager wants to see us. Do you know why? <laughs> no idea. Let's go and find out. Hi, Alice. Bob, please have a seat. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I just want to discuss the new project with you both. What is it about? Well, we have a new client, and we need to create a marketing plan for them. That sounds interesting. Yes, it's a great opportunity. Let's meet again tomorrow to brainstorm ideas. I want you both to think of different ways we can do this. Should we prepare anything for the meeting? Please read carefully the report I sent by email. Also, think of ideas that suit the customer's requirements. At the next meeting, we'll develop ideas together. I got it. We'll research and come with some ideas ready. And remember, this project is very important. So focus on it completely. Sure, we'll be ready. I'll look forward to it. Excellent. Keep up the good work. Thanks, sir. We'll give it our best. Absolutely. We're excited to start. At school. Good morning, class. Today, we will learn about plants. That sounds fun. Can anybody tell me what plants need to grow? They need water and sunlight. That's correct, Mark. What else? They need soil. Very good, Jenny. Plants also need air to grow. I have a plant at home. It's growing fast. That's great, Mark. Taking care of plants is a good way to learn about nature. Can we plant something in class? Yes, we will plant some seeds today and watch them grow. Cool. What kind of seeds do we have? We have sunflower and tomato seeds. You can choose which one to plant. I want to plant sunflowers. They're so bright and happy. I'll plant tomatoes. I love fresh tomatoes. Great choices. Teacher, how long does it take for them to grow? Sunflowers can take a few weeks to sprout. Tomatoes might take a bit longer, but we will see progress soon. I can't wait to see my tomato plant grow. I'll water it every day. That's the spirit, but make sure not to overwater them. Plants need just the right amount of water. This is going to be fun! I'm glad you're excited. Now, let's get started. At the airport. Jimmy, did you see the news? Our flight is overbooked. What? Are we not going to get on the plane? No, they're asking for volunteers to take a later flight. They're offering free tickets and hotel stays. That sounds tempting. Should we volunteer? I think so. We can have an extra day in the city. Anyway, it's been a long time since we had a surprise adventure. You're right. Let's go talk to the gate agent. Hi, how can I help you? We heard you need volunteers to take a later flight. What's the offer? Yes, we're offering free tickets for your next trip, a night at a nearby hotel, and meal vouchers. That sounds great. We'll take it. Thank you. Here are your new tickets and hotel vouchers. Your new flight is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thank you so much. Looks like we have an unexpected adventure. Let's make the most of it. We can explore the city more. Maybe we can visit that museum we didn't have time for. And try that famous restaurant. This turned out well. At the supermarket. Tom. 
Tom, have you seen the new smart shopping carts? No. What's so special about them? They have screens that guide you through your shopping list and suggest recipes. That's cool. Let's try one. All right, let's start with vegetables. The cart says there's a discount on tomatoes. Perfect timing. We need tomatoes for our salad tonight. Now it's guiding us to the fruit section. It's like we have a personal assistant. Look, it's suggesting a fruit salad recipe. Should we try this recipe? Yes. Let's get some strawberries and blueberries. Next stop, dairy. It says there's a sale on milk. This cart is amazing. We're saving so much time. And money. Let's get some cheese and eggs too. Don't forget to grab some yogurt. It's on sale too. Now it's taking us to the pasta aisle. How about we try that new brand of spaghetti? Good idea. I've heard it's really good. Let's get some sauce too. The cart suggests a marinara sauce. It's perfect for our dinner. I love that it suggests side dishes too. Let's get some garlic bread. This is the easiest shopping trip ever. Let's head to the checkout. I agree. We should use this cart every time. At the library. Jake, have you found any good books for our project? I found a few on recycling and waste management. They look really useful. Great. We should find some that explain how recycling helps the environment. Good idea. Let's check the science section. Look, there's a whole shelf on recycling. Wow, these books look detailed. This one has a lot of pictures and diagrams. Perfect. Visuals will make our presentation more interesting. Should we get a book on how to start a recycling program at school? Yes, that would add practical ideas to our project. Do you think we need anything else? Maybe a book on creative ways to reuse materials. That would be fun to include. Good thinking. Let's grab this one, too. Found everything you need? Yes, we're working on a science fair project about recycling. That sounds interesting. Good luck with your project. Thank you. Let's head back and start reading. We have a lot to cover. I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be a great project. Look at this part. It says recycling helps to reduce pollution. This is perfect for our project. And this book shows how to start a recycling program at school. That's important for the environment. We could suggest having different bins for paper, plastic, and glass. That would make it easier for everyone to recycle. Awesome. And these ideas for reusing things are cool. Our project will be really special. Yes, the more I read, the more excited I get. At the post office. Ben, did you remember to bring the packages we need to mail? Yes, they're right here. Do you have the address labels? Yep. Let's get these sent off first. Hi there. How can I help you today? Hi. We need to send these packages. Sure. Place them on the scale, please. Can you tell us how much postage we need for these? Let me weigh them. Okay. For these three, it will be $15.75. Great. Here's the money. Thank you. Here are your tracking numbers. Thanks. Also, can we check our post office box? Of course. What's the number? It's box one, two, three. Here you go. Looks like you have some letters. 
I wonder who these letters are from. It looks like one is from Grandma, and one is from the utility company. Grandma's letters are always the best. I can't wait to read her letter. Me too. Let's head home and open these. Don't forget, we also need to stop by the grocery store. Right. Let's go. We've got a productive day ahead. Yes, and we're off to a good start. At the railway station. Ken, do you see the train schedule? Emma's train should be arriving any minute now. Yes, it says her train is on time. It should be here in five minutes. Great. I can't wait to see her. It's been so long. Which platform is her train arriving at? Platform three. Let's head over there. Oh, look, there's her train. I hope she had a good journey. There she is. I see her getting off the train. Lisa! Ken! Over here! Emma! It's so good to see you! Welcome, Emma. How was your trip? It was good, but I'm glad to be here. The train was a bit crowded. Oh no, that seems uncomfortable. Do you have a lot of luggage? Just these two bags. Thanks for coming to pick me up. No problem at all. Let me help you with your bags. Thanks, Ken. So, what's the plan for today? First, we'll drop your stuff off at our place, and then we thought we'd take you out for lunch. That sounds perfect. I'm starving. Great. There's a nice cafe near our apartment. You'll love it. And after lunch, we can show you around the city. There's so much to see. I can't wait. It's my first time here, so I'm looking forward to exploring. We're glad you're here. It's going to be a fun visit. Absolutely. Let's head out and start your adventure. At the police station. I can't believe someone stole my bike, Mark. I love that bike. I know, Jane. Let's report it and see what the police can do to help. Good afternoon. How can I help you today? Hi. I need to report a stolen bike. It was taken from my backyard last night. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me what the bike looks like? Yes, it's a blue mountain bike with a black seat and silver handlebars. It also has a small bell on the left handlebar. Okay, I have that. Does it have any special numbers or marks? Yes, there's a serial number on the frame near the pedals. It's 12345AB. And it has a scratch on the left side of the frame from a fall a few weeks ago. That's very helpful. Did you see anything strange or anyone near your house recently? No, everything seemed normal. We didn't hear anything either. Okay, I'll write the report and tell our officers to look for your bike. In the meantime, you might want to check local pawn shops and online marketplaces. Thank you for your advice and your help. We'll do our best to find your bike. If we find any clues, we'll contact you right away. And maybe we can put up some posters around the neighborhood, too. Good idea. We'll find it, Jane. Great. You should do that. At the bar. Congratulations on the new job, Alex. This calls for a celebration. Thanks, Sam. I'm really excited about it. Hi there. What can I get for you? Two beers, please. We're celebrating. Coming right up. What's the occasion? 
I just got a new job at a tech company. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thanks. Here's to new beginnings, Alex. Cheers. This is such a big step for me. You've worked hard for this. You deserve it. Thanks, Sam. Your support means a lot. So, what will you be doing at the new job? I'll be working as a software developer. It's a great chance to learn and grow. That sounds amazing. I know you'll do great. I'm really looking forward to it. The team seems really nice, too. It's going to be a fantastic experience. Let's toast to your success. Cheers to that. And thanks for being here to celebrate with me. Always, Alex. Here's to many more successes. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.